I'm Tom Anderson. I study at Basvik and live in Havertz Heath, which means I, like many other people, take a train every day. You'd either be lying or very lucky if you said you'd never encountered a problem with the trains living in the south of England. In this documentary, we will look into the history of Southern Rail, how the strikes have affected commuters, local businesses, and feature an interview with local MP, Peter Kyle. I met with Peter Carl at his office in Hove. Mr. Carl was very passionate on the topic of train strikes and Southern Rail. So, in your opinion, how big of an issue are the Southern train strikes and delays? Oh, it's a massive issue. 34,000 people leave our city every single day to go to work. Most of these people now are leaving having a tortuous experience on the way to work. They're arriving late to work and they're getting home late in the evening and they're missing their family. They're not seeing their kids go to bed at night. They're missing out going to the cinema and doing all the things we love doing in the evening. It is torture. Have the strikes affected many local businesses? It has. I mean, just, just yesterday, I, got, I was contacted by a local business that's now, out of, now out, out of business and they're packing up. They were operating from the concourse in, in Brighton Station just a bit as you go in. And they were a small business having a great time. They were, they were doing very, very well. But now there's so much uncertainty about the passengers and the people uh, uh, moving through the, through the station because of the strikes that it's going out of business. Brighton and Hove Albion has lost £200,000 just over the summer alone. And this is getting worse and worse and worse. We saw just this week that they made a bigger loss this year than last year, directly attributable to the rail service. So the businesses, large and small, are being impacted by this. What are your thoughts on the delay repay scheme? Well, the, 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 all of these compensation schemes should be introduced. You know, the £15 million pounds that they released last, last week for compensation is great. But what customers really want is a reliable service and a punctual service and a comfortable service. That's what they need as their priority. After trying to interview passengers coming off the trains at Brighton Station, Southern staff quickly escorted us off the premises. Sorry guys, can you stop that please? Coming up later in the show, I encountered the RMT union who was striking outside of Brighton Station. I managed to gain an interview with one of its members. Um, so they've just refunded a month's worth of season tickets. How do you feel about that? It's a total jump. <laughs> and a worker from the Utopia van. It is, because we've noticed a, a, a real decrease in uh, footfall over the last 12 months. 